In this video, I'll show you step by step how you can add Google Analytics code to your Articled Storyline project. So you can create linear reports about your e-learning course without needing a learning management system. Hi, I'm Mark Spermon from Upward Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create e-learning modules yourself with Articulate Storyline. And are you new here? Then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. You can use Google Analytics to track data from your Articulate Storyline course. There's only one drawback, the data in Google Analytics is anonymous. So you can't see data of a specific person, but you can see overall data from your module. And you can track pretty cool stuff that goes beyond standard SCORM data. Let's look what you can track in Articulate Storyline. Now, the first thing that you can track is which slide of your course are viewed. And if your course is not linear, this can give you a good insight in which path the biggest part of your users will take. But you can, can track more. For instance, when you have extra information layers in your course, you can track whether they are actually viewed. When a video starts to complete it, this way you can track if a user watched your whole video and if they actually start the video, if users answer questions correct or incorrect, and if users actually complete your course. And much more what you could come up with because you can define statements yourself in your story file. Now let's see how you can create these statements in your own Articulate Storyline project. And let's start with how we can track slides a user visited. To track the pages a user viewed, the first thing I will do is I create a variable called page title. So I go, go here to my variable screen, click on the green plus sign and create a text variable which I call page title. And the default value is zero, that's okay. And I click on OK and OK now. And now the next thing is that I create a trigger that places the value of the storyline uh, variable menu slide title in my just created page title variable. So let's create this trigger. So I go to trigger. So I choose the action adjust variable. I choose set page title and not to value but to variable and to a built in variable slide numbers but the slide title in menu, this one menu dot slide title. And I do it when the timeline starts on this slide. And next trigger is a trigger that executes JavaScript when the timeline starts. So I'll create a new trigger. Now it's not, not a just variable, but here it is execute JavaScript. The word JavaScript is red right now because there is no JavaScript code in it. So I'll paste my JavaScript code. And what you see now here is the first three lines are to connect JavaScript with Storyline and to retrieve the contents of the Storyline in, uh, in JavaScript. So here with for player, get player, I'll, I'll access all the Storyline variables. And what I'll do in this line is I have here a JavaScript variable and in this JavaScript variable, I'll uh, get the contents of the Storyline variable page title. Now, and this line is to send the screen view and screen name page title, so the variable net page title to Google Analytics. And later on in this project, I will show you where you can find the screen view report in Google Analytics. So let's click OK and OK now. So we've set these uh, triggers to uh, set the screen label. So for this slide, welcome layout. In Google Analytics so we can track which slides a user has visited. So in the next example is to see if a user clicks for instance different tabs. So I have here a screen with uh, four tabs in it. So a user uh, must click one of these buttons and then will, a tab will appear. So for instance if I say this one this is my first tab. If I, I create a trigger here, execute JavaScript, and I paste my JavaScript code in it. And what it does, it sends an event to, Arctic, uh, to Google Analytics for a button, a click, and the name, and it's here tab 01. So I click, and it won't be when timeline starts, but when the user clicks oval 01, 
and let's set it before the show layer tab. So now uh, when a user clicks the button, Storeline sends the trigger to uh, Google Analytics that this tab is viewed. But the same you can do for instance uh, for a video. So let's say uh, we want that a user uh, clicks this video. So on this button, I create a new trigger, set execute JavaScript, and I paste my JavaScript code in it. So it says send event, and now the event is videos. This is a play event, and here I can fill in the video name. So for instance, here it goes for Skylabs. So Skylabs. And click on OK. And this is correct when we want to execute it when the user clicks the play button. Now, what you also can do, for instance, if a create a trigger that uh, shows articulate storyline uh, that articulate storyline shows to Google Analytics that the user played uh, a video um, until the end. So what you can do here is uh, create a new trigger that says execute JavaScript uh, event video 100% played, and we fill in here Skylabs. And now the when will be, not will be when user clicks, but when media completes, and here will be video, Skylabs MP4. So Articulate Storyline will send a trigger to Google Analytics that if a user watches the whole video, that the video is 100% played. So the same we did for a video, we can also do for questions. So if we go to question, on my next slide here and go to for instance the correct tab we can create a trigger here that says execute javascript a javascript and i copy paste the javascript and that sends an event the question event and it's correct question one to google analytics now, and you can do the same on the incorrect tab so let's click ok here go to ingrid create a trigger and says incorrect so a Google Analytics knows now if a user uh, has a question answered correctly or incorrectly. So and the last trigger is if the module is passed or completed and you can do this on the results slide. On the results slide you have two uh, yeah, layers here, a success layer and a failure layer. Now on the success layer you can create a trigger and here I paste my JavaScript code in it that says event send event result and then complete it and you could do the same on the failure layer and then you say failed. So if you're finished with this the next step is to create a, a Google Analytics account. Uh, you can do it at this on https uh, analytics.google.com slash analytics slash web and if you have already a Google Analytics account you could can log on to the account and I'll show you what you can must do. So I'll open Google Analytics. What you do here on the left corner of your screen, you'll click on admin. And now you'll go in the property column, create a new property. And you what one you want to measure, you choose web. And on the bottom of the screen, you click on continue. Now you give uh, a name, for instance, the name of your course. So, um, analytics course, um, the website URL. So where are you do you gonna host the website? So in my case, it will be HTTPS uh, nl. You have to check on uh, uh, a category. Uh, uh, education no um, so it says computers and electronics I want to choose the time zone so my time zone is Amsterdam no Netherlands yeah that's the correct one Netherlands and I click on create 
Now, Storyline creates code and your tracking ID, this tracking ID, it's good to copy it and, and paste it for instance to a notepad um, document because we need it uh, later on. What we're now gonna do is back to our admin tab and now we are clicking on uh, create view. Here we choose mobile app. Now we give it the name, so Anna, uh, Anna Le Le Text, text view, select a, a reporting time zone, so Netherlands, and we create a view. Now, when we have done this, what we now do is we uh, publish our articulate storyline course to HTML. So that's our next step. So let's back go back to articulate storyline. So here's my articulate storyline course. I click on publish web this is not so important for now so it published so a google google Analytics article storyline is now publishing my course so article storyline published my course so i'll click on open here now you'll see the folder opens where my course is in i will open the storyline file with a uh, uh, sublime text or notepad plus plus but you can also do it with notepad so i'll open it with sublime text one moment, it is in on this screen. Now, and you see here the HTML code. Now what we are gonna do now is we're gonna place um, the script code so that Google Analytics of, again send the text that we fill in in our storyline course to Google Analytics. And you must do it before the closing head thing. So that's here. Oh, that's the wrong code. So Let's copy my code from my other screen because I already prepared it. So, and you must create, uh, fill in your own uh, analytics ID. That is what you copied when you created the property. So that's is here. And here's the app name. And here you must give it your uh, course name. So analytics course and now you can save it and the next step is to upload it to a web server and if you want to test if everything works i here opened my uh, e-learning module and in our, my other screen i opened google analytics in real-time overview and you'll see there's now one active user and that i'm that's me and now let's uh, walk through the e-learning so i'll click on the tab I'll go to my next screen, I click on the video, and I'll wait till the video ends. So now the video ends, I can go to the next screen, I answer this question, it's correct, and now I'm on my last screen. Now if I go here to screens, you'll see that he here captured my screen, that's the first screen in the e-learning course, where I said that the uh, slide name must send to Google Analytics and when I click on events here you see the different events category I have a tab click I can make this a little bit larger you see a click video and I can click and if I click here you see tab 001 so back to events you see here video play and you see here also video it's 100% played. And now uh, I see that I made it a small mistake because this is with a small V and this is with a capital V. It should be the same event, but I th think you get the meaning. So if you set the, sli the slide name for all slides, you see here all slides and you can create more events and you can see the events here. Now, this is a real-time overview if you, if you go to behavior and you want to see a, a reporting for the past, you can here click on screens or you can here click on events and you can here see also where screens, top events and overview and you can uh, create a report and send it to a manager or to your client, for instance. Do you have any questions about embedding your Articulate Storyline course in WordPress or about Articulate Storyline in Common? Then please comment below these videos and I promise to answer it. 
And if you want to create great engaging e-learning article storyline, make sure that you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how I create e-learning in article storyline. And I know for sure that it will help you because it describes my whole process that I use for every e-learning module in article storyline that I built. And was this video useful to you? Then hit the like button below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos.